Coleman is unique. We are domes. We have four dome areas that house classrooms, our fine arts department, our gyms, and lends itself to environmental. We also have our Verizon Innovative Learning Schools. All of our students have LTE-capable iPads so that they can take their learning on the go. That's super exciting when you become an environmental magnet because now they can go outside. They'll have outdoor classroom and they can learn and have their technology right along with it. The garden at Coleman is an amazing opportunity for our students here. We currently have 10 raised beds and two beds in the ground where the kids are able to plant a variety of plants. The majority of what we plant are all things that will be eaten. So we plant vegetables and we plant some fruits. A lot of our beds are annuals, so we get to replant every year, like with the tomatoes. But we also have some beds that have perennials in them. The kids love the animals that we have here and they love being able to take care of the animals that we have. We've got chickens, we've got ducks, we also have some lizards and even a snake and a tarantula and they learn how, how to take care of those animals. And we also, very important to us, we have a beehive. We have a community partner who comes in and helps us maintain the health of the beehive. We got like a huge amount of bees working on the honey and we were able to take for the first time an entire uh, honeycomb to the state fair, um, which we've been doing for years, taking our honey there. We've won second place in the past. We've got a bug hotel that the kids are able to collect items for to put into that structure because what that does is it brings the insects that we actually want in our garden. Our gardens are all organic. There are also a number of places around the school that the students help maintain. You might see when you're around here a whole line of trees. That was from Coleman partnering with a community organization that helped us plant a whole bunch of trees. And our students here help take care of those plants. And we currently have a partnership with another organization, Canopy ICT, and they're going to help us even grow that tree canopy around our school. The kids here have actually built like three different chicken coops, which involves a whole lot of being able to read instructions and carry out the instructions to make a, a, a structurally sound um, project. They have cut wood and built a duck run. Our students learn how to mow lawns and how to use a weed eater. And all of these things are things that are gonna help them be successful as they become adults and taking care of their own households, but also becoming successful employees because we have groups who have leaders and they have to learn how to be good leaders, but also how to follow your leader. I think the work ethic that our students gain through their work in the garden is one of the biggest things that they take from this. We're able to use our gardens to teach the kids about healthy versus not so healthy foods. And they hear me talk all the time about how those healthy and unprocessed foods impact your, your health um, and, and your brain and your ability to learn. Research has actually shown that having that interaction with nature for a young person has a really positive benefit on their emotional health on their behaviors even, and on their ability to learn. So we like to think that when the kids are interacting with nature, it's actually helping them in their math classes, in their social studies classes, in their science classes, but also being able to be socially healthy and uh, get along with other students in a way which they can do outdoors that they can't do when they're just sitting in the classroom on a computer or sitting at home on a computer trying to get them outdoors. We also have staff in the summer attend the Earth Partnerships for Schools at Dick Arboretum. Once we got the go-ahead that we're going to become a magnet, last March from our BOE vote, we established a magnet team, a leadership team. So I'm excited that we have all types of staff members on that team that represent our different grade levels, our different contents. And so they're starting to establish what's this going to look like as a magnet school. What type of themes are we going to use in our classroom that support the environmental magnet theme? My name is Jesse Millen. I'm with the Wichita Public Schools Magnet Department. 
We are uh, in the process of, of working with Coleman right now, uh, teaming up with them and helping them as they transition from a neighborhood school to an environmental science magnet. And part of the planning process when, when we were envisioning this, uh, one of the big things that, that we wanted to do was we were looking at installing a native Kansas prairie. The tall grass prairie system is, is the most endangered ecosystem in uh, the United States. And we want to do our part and make that one of the integral parts of what Coleman students experience. So see back here, this winter students will come out and plant a full acre of native prairie. And if we get the rain we need in, in the spring, then, then that will be the first year as, as the plants, uh, the grasses and the forbs start to bloom and grow in, in the spring and, and throughout the summer. And in subsequent years, there, there will be subsequent acres planted. So next winter, there'll be another acre. And the idea was to have a total of three acres of prairie for students to go out and learn in. But there's room for more than three. So down the line, we, we could go to four, even five acres. So we're really excited to be able to have a uh, native tall grass prairie right here in the middle of the city. Our other environmental science magnet, Earhart, sits on a river, it has a bunch of trees around it, and its property really lends itself very well to their magnet theme. Coleman has these wonderful amount of space and all these open fields, so it's really gonna make them unique. The only school in USD 259 that is gonna have a native prairie. And outside of the uh, Great Plains Nature Center, uh, it'll really be the only natural prairie in Wichita. So we hope it'll be a place for the community to enjoy as well as for the students to learn in. We do have 10 Distinguished Classroom Teacher Award winners or finalists in the past several years. Our teachers are bar none the best teachers around. We are so proud of them that we have a wall where we display their big posters and so we've moved it up to allow for more Distinguished Classroom Award winners in the future. We're also an AVID National Demonstration School, AVID being advancement via individual determination. We are a building-wide AVID site of distinction. Those strategies, along with the technologies that the Verizon Innovative Learning Schools brings and our theme as Magnet, all go hand in hand. It's not separate things, it's just all together and it's gonna be woven. And so we'll use the technology and the strategies and the content of environmental in order to just bring it all together and become the best environmental magnet we can be.